you got the winner right, although I know it was you were probably a little unsure for a while. You were right. You picked Canada. Canada wins. What's your reaction? You know what? An emotional game. I I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I can't <laughs> imagine how the players were watching the game as a Canadian and watching it. Unbelievable. Because at points in this game, I actually was cheering for the United States. You saw them come back with seconds left in the game. And honestly, if you ever believe in miracles, it was today. Today would have been the day. An incredible game. America should be proud of this team because they laid it on the line. And in the end, it's Canada get, that gets the win. But they had to come back from Zach Parise's game tire with 24 seconds left. I mean, how difficult do you suppose it was for the Canadians to go into that locker room during another intermission and regain composure and come back? I've been in the Stanley Cup finals where you give up a late goal and the emotions that they had to feel, the, the way they must have felt going into that room and just looking at each other saying we are 24 seconds away from getting that gold medal and how the United States must have been so excited in their room to come back and play, and we saw four on four in, in the final period, in that overtime, was incredible. But it's just a great tribute to both these teams. I, I don't think anyone deserved to lose this game. Uh, give out two gold medals because it was that good. You see how excited they are in Canada. I, I can't imagine the feeling that they have because no gold medal mattered except for this one for them. And it was amazing, too, the buzz around this game in this country. We know what it was like in Vancouver and all over Canada. But in this country, everybody was anxious to watch the game. Now, you you cover and follow hockey every single day but tell me what you suppose those who may not follow it every day those who watch it casually what did the world learn what did we learn about American hockey? well I learned even more I learned more this week because this is the best two weeks of hockey that I have ever seen in my life and the most interest that I've ever had into it so I think it says a great deal about the young players that we have in this game because most of the stars that we were talking about today are young kids so going forward watch this game it's a great game it's physical these guys lay it on the line every single night they're throwing their face in front of pucks at 100 miles an hour they they want to play for their countries. They want to play for their teams. If you are not a fan, become one because it was incredible. The MVP of the tournament did not come from the gold medal winning team. It was Ryan Miller, the American goalie. And the, he should be. I watch him again every single night with the Buffalo Sabres living in Buffalo. A good friend. And this guy was bar none the best player in this tournament. No one even close. This guy was the best. And if they had a chance at winning, which they did, it was because of him. Bram had mentioned it. The U.S. had never trailed at any point. They fell behind 2-0 in this game. How key was it to Canada not to allow the United States a quick start, which they've gotten off to in every game before now? Well, very huge because you talk about confidence, and, and this was a team that hasn't played from behind, a very young team. If you get up in front of this team, your confidence even soars even more. The crowd got into it. They were crazy today in Vancouver. So not getting out of the lead, I think, really helped Canada play the kind of game that they wanted. Uh, they hit a couple posts in the third period that could have put it away, but they played with the lead the whole game. A very veteran team found a way to win. Matt, as we move forward now, I think a lot of people, are, uh, certainly the NHL is hoping that this pays off post-Olympics now and that people will start paying more attention to this sport. Do you think that's going to happen? Uh, I certainly hope so. Uh, time will tell. Uh, but after watching this, they certainly will. Uh, I, I hope, because uh, Gary Bettman, don't get it wrong. So she's in four years. Let these guys play because it was unbelievable for everyone. Not just us covering it, not for you watching it. For the casual fan, everyone loved it. Don't make the mistake. Fantastic stuff. Thanks for everything you've given us through this tournament. It's been unbelievable. <laughs> it's been awesome.